this is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Super Mario Bros. 3. Yeah, World 8, here we go. Um, I want to use something here. I think I, I have quite a few of these, so I think it's worth burning one of them here. There's a lot of stuff flying around in this one. Which, I mean, the first few... First few levels of this world are gonna have a lot of this. And I hate that I lost that already. Yeah, and it is, it is a fairly long level, as we can already see, and I don't think I'm even really that close to the end of it. Okay, that'll help. Okay. Made it at least this far. Let's see how we do. Didn't know if I'd make that jump or not. Worked out alright for now, though. That actually worked fairly well. A little lucky, I suppose, but... Yeah, and that one. Dark to wait for it. At the end? Okay. Looks like it. I think you're gonna have a boss just like the end of the fortress levels here. Oh, nope. Just one of these guys. Eh, a star. Not nothing, but... Now, I don't know if I'll pull it off on my first try here, but this next one kinda has a trick to it. It can let you beat it pretty easily. I just want to check where this goes, first of all. I don't think I can do anything with it yet. Yeah, because it's blocked there. But this is, yeah, basically the next portion of the map. I think it's three parts overall. Yeah, so for a little ways here, I'm just gonna avoid all these things. Let's go about it normally. Now... We can go down into the water. As long as you time it right and get far enough down, you'll actually just swim under it. You just want to make sure that you don't stay up too high so that the the front part of the ship catches you and basically kills you off. And obviously, if you think down, you'll die. I think I got it. Yep, looks good. So, I don't know if this one would be as tough as the first one or about the same otherwise. But you can Yep, large chunks of it here. And here we're at the end already, it looks like. Wait for it to come down enough, and... I think we'll have the same guy here, probably. Oh no, now this is one of these guys. God dang it. Well, that shouldn't have been the part that I had an issue here with, but... Um, mm -hmm. I just mostly want something so that I'm not small anymore. Guess I'll use the frog here. Not like I really need him for the swimming, but... I'm also curious if you could actually... 
Okay, well, so much for the frog anyway. I was also kind of curious if you could get to the front of the ship and fall off before you even got through this part, but it didn't really look like it's going to give me enough time to do that. Yeah, I don't know. With the bosses, like, at the end of this one, I, it always seemed to me like if I just get the rhythm of it and hit them consecutively, it's a piece of cake. If I let them get into doing their thing, though, then I'm just not as familiar with the fight that way. So I tend to panic and mess it up, I guess. Overall, I think this one seems like it's shorter than the other one. It could just be a matter of, you know, I'm not worrying about dodging stuff, so... It just seems that way. I didn't think there's anything up here. Okay, let's this up again. There we go. Yeah, piece of cake like that. Take this connecting pipe to get to here. Now I think there's a little bit of RNG with this. There are five potential levels here. But anytime you cross over one of them, a hand can gr reach out and grab you. And it'll take you to a, it's a somewhat short level. I think the most you would have to do is three to get through here. And I made it all the way to just doing one. Okay. Gotta hate flying fish. So now I gotta do it again. So that means it'll reset. Oh, yeah, this time I got grabbed on the first one. Okay, might just get a mushroom. Wouldn't think there's more than one power up here. Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem with that guy. Jumps and he'll stun ya. Was kind of planning on just trying to race through there and get it over with. Maybe I should just try to take them both out. Go up the pipe! Okay, I got a leap at least. Yeah, that's basically all those levels are, is just pretty short like that. And now I get the second one as well. I get to avoid the third one this time. And even if I die here, at least I think that first one should stay completed. was just a platforming and waiting it looks like. That's both for me overall better. I'm not always the greatest at platforming, but that wasn't like it was difficult platforming. Just a little patience. Other leaf. And I can't avoid that either. I'm just gonna I'm gonna try to keep moving. Yep, wrong way. Okay, well we made it. And I did kind of want to be thorough anyway in this game and do all the levels, so I guess part of that would include kind of doing all of these too, I suppose. Like I said, I'm pretty sure three is the most you can get. 
I don't think there's ever going to be a level popping up in the middle two there. Now this one... Another one I'm going to basically avoid. And I'm going to use a P-Wing for it. Because it is another one of these levels, but it's one in the air. The so land, sea, and air. Once again, some platforming, not too difficult necessarily, but a lot of junk flying at you too. And even though we're skipping it, basically you can still see everything if you're curious about what's on the level. There I am. I don't want to drop too fast and accidentally die. But the, the P-Wing might have almost been a disadvantage for me for the way I like to fight those guys, but got it done. Alright, so that just took out that. Um, I actually want to kind of go back and see what that's going to lead to at first. I don't remember for certain. Honestly, I played through this game and made it all the way through a handful of times. Played it several dozen times, but usually I wouldn't do all the levels, so I wouldn't get all the power-ups and stuff as I went through. And then by the time I got to World 8, I'd die off. Probably by about this point, usually. But like I said, I have actually full cleared it and done that before. It's just that some of these upcoming levels I'm not as familiar with because I haven't done them as many times. That one was blocked by another fortress or another level like this, I guess. I think it's actually a fortress, though. Because once we get into that next section where it's dark, then it's actually kind of like a regular world again. So it's just these first two parts were a little different. Because, yeah, here we have world 8-1. Everything is dark. Ready and go. Let's see how we do. God, I don't. I don't think it's probably worth going down to get that. those fireballs get past there. There are... Still coming. This one, it seems like I'm going to have to bounce. Going. 
right at the end? Oh, yeah. Okay, another one down. Okay. Pretty linear here so far. I don't think there's gonna be like 10 levels or anything in here like that. If I remember right, it's somewhere around six or seven in, in a fortress maybe. Yeah, but it, it's been a while. Rather not go in small. I did get these three, so let's go ahead and use one. That snow? If it's slick. Seem to be. Yeah, one of the faster Goombas there. See how far I can fly and what's going on. Oh, great. And the sun's back. I'd rather not platform on those blocks if I don't have to. Boy, we seem to climb that hill really slow. Seems like he doesn't follow us up, at least. <laughs> okay. Oof. He almost hit me and took my... Yeah, I don't care which one I get, I guess, because I didn't get two of the same anyway. So. And we're almost... We're getting closer to the end, and I do still have over 30 lives, so there's that, too. Hmm. Okay. Two pipes. And there's the fortress. First, we're going to check them out. Ow. That seems rather... Redundant and kind of dumb. Ready for more of this. Let's see what we got going on. I'll try for that door and see what it gets me. Ah, dang it. Well, it's gonna make me go this way. Okay. Just so I can get a tail to be able to go through those blocks, potentially. Hmm. I don't know if it matters. I guess this is my only choice here since I got rid of the tail. Okay, now I'm just over here. It's gonna be another one of these puzzle type of levels. Apparently. Okay, well. I didn't think so, but I guess if you say so, game. Okay, that's that one. I can't make that jump to get... Okay. Well, thank you, actually. Oh, is it not going to let me? Oh. Okay, that helps. Might have to worry about time becoming an issue, though. Hmm. Well, there's another door. Which will be accessible after I break a couple blocks. And I can't get to that other one anyway, so this must be pro progress. Oh, boom. Oh. I wasn't even paying attention. I was like, why did it bring me back there? But that was the last thing I entered, I suppose. Let's just go ahead and use that, because it seems like that's what we're needing to start out here anyway. No. I think I'll hold.
hold off on that and keep the tail if I can through here with it. Okay, well, yeah, never mind. At least I'm back to this. Am I going in this one? Pick the one on the conveyor belt. Okay, these guys don't all... Don't all move up and down, or side to side. Some of them are diagonal. Interesting. Okay. Take another one. Okay, let's try again. Try to keep my tail. At least it seems like that's gonna help out considerably, potentially, here. A lot of different doors going on around here. You know, this kind of wait for that guy to go across. God damn it. That's fine, we got it back. This is a long, really long place. Let's see what I can do. I think this one. And I'm gonna have to try to get through here pretty quickly after that. I think that door's one of the ones that would disappear on me. I can't believe that guy didn't hit me. I think this is the one I want. Yeah, I think so, because after this... I'm pretty sure what'll happen here is this'll... The conveyor will take me over and then the boss fight will be over here. I think. Yeah. Okay, got him. I don't even know how many more doors I missed. Depending on what other areas I could have gone to. It's a very kind of long dungeon type of thing. Actually, let me double check. The other one, I think, was the way back that I could have... That I saw before. But that um, gate was blocking it. So it's, it's your shortcut through here if you die. Yeah. Yeah, we're certainly not going to be beating this today, but I think I should be able to get it done tomorrow and then give a short review and all that good stuff. Okay, yeah, we do have another another tank level. Three P wings. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and use one. No shame to my game. As long as it actually lets me fly over this. That's where I could be in trouble. Find out shortly. Okay. Yeah, apparently we are flying we are flying over it at least. That's not to say that they won't have another part that could block me, but
a lot of stuff flying around. I suppose there's always the possibility that some of those cannons could get up there and hit me. I don't think so, but... Waiting until everything's flying off the screen. Alright. Just another one of those guys? Yep. Okay. Yeah, here's the problem. Since he's flying around now that I can't fly. Gotta kinda wait for him to come down. Damn it. Okay, that was close. Button a little bit there. Oh, we got it. And that should take that one out. So I think that'll... I don't think anything else will happen along here, so... That should just be Bowser's Castle then, I think. From what I remember. I've only beat it a handful of times, like I said, but... And it has been several years at this point. My last full playthrough. But I think we're actually going to go ahead and call it there for today, though. So we'll just pick up here tomorrow with just Bowser's Castle left. And even if I die 20 times in there, I think I should be able to make it through tomorrow. Because we still got 30 lives left, so I'm in pretty good shape here, I think. Anyway, thanks for watching, and if you've been enjoying the content so far, please like, comment, and subscribe or follow. And we'll catch you next time.